The main goal of the Digital Storytelling for Active Citizenship Project was to empower youth to develop their own migration narratives by giving them skills in digital storytelling, in solutions journalism, and understanding how migration narratives are formed in society, in media, and then the end result was that they develop their own stories based on a migration topic or diversity topic of their choosing. When we work with youth and we discuss about diversity and inclusion and migration, that we don't so often talk about what's the role of media or understanding media or being able to use media as a tool to participate in this discussion. And I think this was the core thing of, of starting to develop this project, that how could we use media education as a tool to bring something new into discussion. We wanted to help our participants learn in a few different ways, both practical and theoretical and academic as well. And so we had the chance to expose them to some media that is already out there in the field so that they could understand what the landscape is like for migration stories that are already out there, as well as inviting them to conduct first person research around their own stories that matter to them. We also worked on soft skills like emotional IQ and empathic listening. And in addition to that, we gave them a practical understanding of the process of filmmaking, digital storytelling and journalism. So we even got the participants behind the camera shooting our responses for this story. The primary idea was to learn to learn together, to, to bring people from two different countries that uh, have a very different background together, to learn from each other, but also learn, of course, through different facilitated activities and workshops about, well, digital storytelling, but also about uh, diversity, inclusion and equity. I learned a lot about different forms of migration during this project, and I learned a lot about the other participants' point of interest. There are a lot of misunderstanding in this you know, title, The Migration. And then now it's been cleared out and I'm, I have new ideas and information about migration. My personal catch-up is that such workshops are a good avenues, especially for the students, to explore them what hidden talents they have and what potential they have to impact the society. Because in one way or the another, we are just thinking about uh, earning money or making our lives better but the main thing as a human being is to do something which in the long run could have a better impression on the society or contribute to make this world a better place to live in. So we kicked off the project with an in-person meeting in Vasa, Finland, where the six Berlin participants and the Berlin uh, project leaders came to Vasa in the dead of winter. <laughs> and that was a really important way to kick off the project because it allowed everyone to meet each other in person right away. And that carried us through the rest of the, the project where we held a series of hybrid meetings where the Berlin participants would meet in person and the Vasa participants would meet in person and then they would uh, meet each other online. We did two of those, and then we did also um, a series of online meetings where everyone um, met online. And then we culminated the project with um, the Vasa group coming to Berlin for our practical workshop on digital storytelling and interviewing and uh, different media techniques. We learned from each other, but I think we learned about ourselves as well, like kind of also, it's always good to realize that, oh yeah, we do this process this way, some others do this in a different way and then you kind of, in a good way, forced to see yourself out of the box a little bit as well. One of the challenges that we faced was that we really wanted to get to know the participants first before developing the entire curriculum to understand exactly what they were hoping to get out of this, what skills they brought, um, what skills they were hoping to learn. Uh, another thing that we grappled with was how uh, structured it should be and how much we should be guiding them through the process and how much we should be giving them skills for them to develop their own stories in the end. And we did opt to go more that route and we did receive feedback, for instance, from one participant who said he loved how 
much um, he could work independently, but also that he was able to receive um, mentorship, mentorship and feedback from, from the project team. Um, and we feel that this really also allowed the participants to focus on the skills that they most wanted to learn and that they'll be able to use those skills more in the future. Now our participants are more critical of consuming the content through social media because we provided enough education and enough learning. Uh, when they have enough education, they are able to consume their content critically. I think that the main things that we will be able to share from this project is the process and the, the work we've done with the group and the skills uh, so that others can replicate this. I hope people feel somehow empowered to, to continue through their own action or own behavior to somehow contribute love towards humanity. <laughs>